All right, everybody. I just got a had the uh, day off today. It's uh, Labor Day, and thought I'd do a quick video on some investment uh, coins that I purchased. Um, right here we have a couple of uh, silver liberties, walking liberties. This is U.S. Mint, and this is quality silver bullion. You can see that the, the uh, detail in the QSB coin is quite impressive. The U.S. Mint is uh, actually tarnished. bought this about a year ago, and it's already uh, a little bit tarnished. But the uh, QSB seems to be holding up. And I love the detail on the back as well. Both one ounce. Right now, spot's about... Um, 1980 an ounce. Bought these at uh, 14, 15 dollars. This one's about a year ago. Can't remember when I purchased this one, but um, <coughs> some good in gold investment. Of course, U.S. Mint is uh, the standard, but I actually like QSB a whole lot. So up here you have the one ounce. Walking Liberty gold coin. This is not 100% or 999 gold. It's 992, I believe. Or is it 996? I'm not sure. But um, I would advise to invest in the Canadian maple. Canadian maple is 0.999 pure gold. And if you were to invest in some gold, I would definitely recommend the Canadian maple. Canadian maple leaf. Well, basically, um, these are s extremely good hedges for inflation, and I uh, purchased these a while back, so I guess I made about, I bought them at uh, about $700, $700 an ounce, so I made, made quite a bit. I bought more than one, so I actually didn't, didn't make anything, but I saved my purchasing power. It's especially if it was in the bank, I think I'd make like a point whatever percent interest. Ridiculous. How much they're giving you? They'll give you anything. But, um, and if anybody comes knocking, trying to get my go my coins, I have my, my buddies. Let me introduce you to my friends here. This here is a Walter PPK. This is my, uh, my concealed carry gun. It's very small, but it has a good punch. I really like this gun. Pretty reliable. This is my backup weapon here. This is called a Smith & Wesson. A revolver. 45 ACP. Okay. They're always locked and loaded. Just in case. There are no kids in the house, so... I pretty much, uh... It's pretty much safe in the house. And then we have the 9mm Springfield. This is an HD... Springfield 9mm, so I use this as a backup as well. But uh, you can't beat a revolver for misfires. And then last here we have the uh, FN57. This goes through anything. 2,000 feet per second uh, is great for, uh, for uh, distance. And penetrating Kevlar if the uh, criminals have uh, Kevlar, like in the uh, North Hollywood shootout. This would have done a trick. So this runs about a little over a thousand bucks, but it's worth it. Sometimes I carry this as a backup, but I like the stopping power of the uh, revolver and the uh, fail safety. Yeah, it always shoot. This. It's never jammed on me, but it has, has a tendency, of course, semi-autos. I just can't trust them. And last but not least, we have the uh, preferred weapon of Leo's, the 870 Remington shotgun. So, if you plan on coming by my pad, uh, take a look at these. Beware of my boys. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks, bye.